Hi everyone, my name is Wala Sidi. I'm the Trade Commissioner at Madrid Frankfurt, uh, covering the Dach region. So I'm here yet today, joined by Michael from BFL, a football club uh, fully owned by Volkswagen, and also Dr Intan uh, from KVG. So they've just signed an MOA uh, to uh, kickstart a partnership. So Michael, perhaps you can share uh, what the partnership is all about. Yeah, we, first of all, we feel really privileged um, about that partnership. Um, it's always great to have uh, partners like KVG on board uh, as we strive to drive the game globally with a lot of football school projects all over the world and things like that. And therefore, we are always looking for international partnerships. And um, if these partnerships are also a sustainable one, sustainable focused one, it's also helpful for us because it, it supports our sustainability program. So it's really exciting to have learned about some details of the Kena products, um, mm. which are really exciting and uh, in some way are yeah, maybe a sustainable industry future. So it's yeah. great to see that and we're looking forward to our partnership. So basically the partnership will be centered around the development of KNAF as a sustainable advanced material uh, which can be applied on multiple uh, industries. So um, BFL, you know, um, the partnership definitely I think will uh, create the pathway for our Malaysian company like KVG uh, to maybe have a discussion with Volkswagen and see how we can apply KNAF in the production. Yeah, hopefully. And of course, the CSR projects through football activities that you can do with Malaysia. So I think that's very beneficial in terms of social economic values. So uh, Dr. Intan, so uh, a lot of people, I'm sure they're not familiar with KNAF, but I'm also very uh, excited and very impressed with the application of KNAF in uh, various uh, industries. So perhaps you can share a little bit uh, what we can about KNAF, first yeah. of all, and what we can do with it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. So I'm very glad to really introduce to the world about our material, our plants called KNAF. I believe that not everybody, you know, have heard <laughs> even understand about KNAF. But why we said that our uh, business here, Kenal Plantation and Kenal Fiber, consider as a most sustainable material in the world at this moment. Because the reason why this Kenal uh, uh, crop even can uh, be planted in 100 to 120 days. It's a very fast, uh, 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 fast crop, where compared to other plants, it, uh, I mean, it absorb three to four times uh, most uh, carbon uh, dioxide from the atmosphere. So it turns into the very good material to uh, beat our uh, climate issues where we expose a lot of carbon dioxide in the world. Right. And now it's time for us to use the sustainable material. That is also in our the plantation, it can absorb the carbon dioxide. And when we turn it into our products, this is considered very green and sustainable because this is a biodegradable material. So, uh, as you uh, mentioned, we can uh, use this KNAF across uh, multiple uh, industries. The reason why? Because now we can convert this KNAF into what we call as advanced material. It can replace the petroleum-based uh, products such as plastic, such as uh, carbon fiber, as well as glass fiber. So this uh, material, uh, at this moment has been used widely uh, in our uh, consumable item uh, like the packaging and also as a building material and definitely in uh, a sector such as uh, automotive, uh, marine and uh, also aviation. So this KNAF, uh, why uh, it can replace a lot of application because uh, the fiber alone is very strong and then uh, when you convert into this material what you can the benefit that you can have it can produce a very lightweight uh, product so you can see here yeah as an example this is a common carbon fiber that being used in the high performance automotive really car fascinating. yes but now when you hybridize it you use knaf put it inside it can turn into the product lightweight and sustainable material and uh, have a very strong performance in terms of the uh, impact resistant. So it's not only sustainable, it's also very competitive in terms of price. And we also, at the end, we would like to have all the green, uh, turn our planet into a greener place in the future. So maybe that's an overall uh, what I can share uh, uh, to the world. With, when we apply canal, we can also uh, collaborate in, in uh, expanding our sustainable application in the multi uh, uh, sector. Yeah, it's a really fascinating product, and I hope um, that we can make it more visible. Yeah. 
you know, through the football activities and all the, some kind of a marketing platform all over the world. That game of football, so um, hopefully it will can make it more visible all over yeah. the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And also the, U- the European uh, Union, they have been actively looking into uh, non-food crops uh, for industrial purposes. So a lot of research have been done on that. So I think uh, Malaysia can definitely work with not only with Germany but EU as a whole yep. and uh, see what we can do in terms of R&D and product developments and social partnership that is also just it's important so hopefully everything will go on well and we look forward to have more Kenneths from Malaysia in yeah. Germany yeah. <laughs> we will we will <laughs> okay thank you everyone thank you, thank you.